Hi, I'm Catwood, and a video that really impacted me throughout this TED class was Dane Kamen's video on making a prosthetic arm. Now, Dean Kamen started out as this guy who was pretty successful. He had a business, and he, he was, like, a successful guy, like, making stuff and creating stuff. But one day, somebody came to him with the challenge to make a new prosthetic arm for the soldiers who had lost their arms in battle. Now, Dean said he couldn't do it because he had too much on his plate. And he was stuck in his ego saying, I can't do it. I, 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 it, it's impossible. Like, there's no way I can do this. Um, I, I kind of live a life like that. Um, I really get stuck inside my head and I don't look at things for what they're worth and for how I can help people. I really look at things like they just, I look at them the way I look at them, not the way reality looks at them. And this is kind of what he was doing. And then he got into a conference where he saw this one individual and he's like, I'm really lucky because I still have my right arm and I'm right handed. And he didn't have his left arm. And when he pushed himself back from the table. He didn't have either of his legs either. Um, this really impacted me because after he saw that, he really wanted to help these guys. Like, it was this lucky, this lucky guy who changed his idea because he's like, I'm so lucky. I have everything. And why can't I just, like, step outside my ego and, like, create this thing for these poor people and instead of just living for myself do something for others I like doing stuff for others too um, for example I work with an organization called the Therapeutic Rioting Institute or TRI for short and this is where we help handicapped kids and adults interact with and um, ride these horses and you know horses they're really big kind of scary but I love them um, that's what drew me to the organization. Like, I originally joined for the horses, like, because I was kind of afraid of what would happen, like, if they would like me, if I would mess up, and, you know, if these kids would be okay. And, um, as time went on, I started with this girl named Alicia, and she couldn't talk, but she was so bubbly, she was so happy, she was just unbelievable in the way that she was so willing to learn and so willing to accept and trust these big animals with her life and it was my job to help her like I just like Dean came in I was scared and I thought I didn't have the time to give to her I just wanted to help with the horses and not with these kids but um as time went on I got to know her and I got to know what she was about and how I could help her and like throughout the weeks of this organization I saw her grow like first week we just had her sit there and use her voice to tell the horse walk on and whoa and she got that really quickly and then as the weeks went on we got her to use her reins to turn and use her legs and to like pick the colors on the rings and it was just unbelievable and I thought she said she just gave off that same lucky vibe that that one soldier did. Like, she was so lucky to be given this opportunity to ride these incredible horses and just be surrounded by these incredible people. And I thought, wow, I am actually the lucky one. I get to impact this wonderful person's life and just get something amazing in return. And... I just love how, um, you know, I, I could have taken the easy way out, but um, I actually gave myself a chance, and I took the incredible chance to get to know these people and get to know what I could do and to just soften my ego's box and just 
open up a little window and let the let the sunlight of someone else in. Um, just able, <laughs> able to really impact someone's life for the better.